Erie County health leaders are explaining how to protect yourself from Lyme disease and rabies. The number of ticks could be higher in Erie County this year, and that means the risk for rabies could be as well. News 4's Marissa Perlman has more on how to protect your family. In western New York, uh, we, we do have Lyme disease, uh, and we do have Lyme disease that's, that's locally transmitted. Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein says Lyme disease is widespread here in Erie County, but now she's sending out a warning. Watch out for ticks. We're anticipating that the population that can transmit these viruses uh, from that are born from insects or uh, like ticks or uh, from say wild animals like rabies um, by raccoons uh, will be more prevalent just because we'll probably have more wildlife because they've had more time to start reproducing. Ticks live on deer mice and can be easily spread to both humans and animals. So she recommends wearing long sleeves and doing frequent tick checks. People have to use common sense, uh, protect themselves, and then when they come in from an area where they could have been exposed to do a chick check. And tis the season to watch out for rabies. Immunizations are really the, you know, the bread and butter of public health and prevention. Dr. Burstein says the concern for rabies this year also comes from our warmer winter. Rabies immunizations can be ex expensive, but they are also can be life-saving for not just for your pets that you love, but also for your family. Rabies are usually found in wild animals, but humans oh, can boy. come in contact with it through their own pets. The county is hosting two free rabies clinics, immunizing dogs, cats, or ferrets. Dr. Burstein says even if you have indoor pets, they can still be at risk. Find out more on our website, WIVB.com. In Buffalo, Marissa Perlman, News 4.